Let me show you how you can easily create SCC Mix Design. Hello and welcome back to this channel. Let's dive into this amazing template and presentation. In this example, let us use 5500 PSI as specified cylinder strength. I will design a flow of 650 mm plus or minus 100 mm as permissible limit. I'll be using here 19 mm as the nominal maximum size of aggregate or 3 4 inch and see how efficiently this template is gonna help us on this challenge. The equivalent theoretical flexural strength would be 719 psi or 5 MPa. Let us say we don't have standard deviation, this will lead us to a higher strength margin. So let's keep it empty. And I won't be using air entrained concrete in this example. I will use non air entrained for 19 mm nominal maximum size of aggregate. Look, this cell will automatically provide 2% air content accordingly. You can verify its reference from the guidebook. So, looking from the database tab, 19 mm will equate to a value of 2% air content. Or using the ACI table itself. For 3 4 inch or 19 mm, that will be 2% approximate and trapped air content for non air entrained concrete. In this example, we will not be using this area. Let's disregard the exposure category or durability parameters for this example. And we'll be focusing only on this part, the left side. So upon entering the specified strength, automatically, the required average strength will be shown here as 6750 PSI in this example. So in our proposed column, select the strength from drop-down list accordingly, either equal to calculated target strength or the next higher value. So it must not be in lower value otherwise it turns into red cell notification. So let us choose the higher value which is 7000 PSI. And so for 7000 PSI, none are entrained concrete. The water cement ratio is automatically suggested as 0.34 based on the guidebook. Let's just check it also here from table 5.3, 4 of the guidebook. Here it says the average 28 days compressive strength of 7000 PSI shall have corresponding 0.30 for water cement ratio for non air entrained concrete. We also need to take note based on this table that the guidebook is referring to strength of concrete using cement only. Cement in combination with fly ash or any SCM was not used for this data, so we have to consider that. So going back to our mixed design, for suggested 0.30 for water cement ratio, and considering the use of 30% class F fly ash cement replacement, for a person who is working in ready mix for a long time, then you already know that. You have to reduce the water cement ratio considering slow strength gain when blend with this type of fly ash. So from 0.30 for we have to reduce by at least 0.02, I assume, and also it depends on your current available materials. Maybe from your material, you need to reduce a little bit more down to 0.3 water cement ratio. So if you haven't tried to use class F fly ash, reduce the water cement ratio because typically when you use class F fly ash, the strength development is slower compared to pure cement type 1 or 2 although it will tend to achieve much higher strength at later age. Next, keep in mind that we also have project specification. So you have to consider that. Let's say 0.4 is the project specified maximum water cement ratio. And the required minimum cement content is 350 kg. So these limits will depend on your project specification. So for the cement you can always start with a minimum. Let's start writing 350 kilograms in this example. So from 350 kilograms you can just slowly increase this content using this button while looking at below SCC parameters. And looking at the water content. If you are comfortable with this amount of water considering ice replacement 
moisture and workability. I recommend minimum 150 kilograms of water for SCC. In this example, I will just jump to 500 kilograms total cementitious materials. Simultaneously, you can also observe the changes in these parameters and assessment accordingly. While also looking at the aggregate's combined grading chart, the calculated combined grading is outside the limit at the moment, shortly I will fix it. So next the finest modulus. Of course this is automatically calculated. Depending on the sieve analysis of our fine aggregates. So we have two available types of sand here. Here, in this example, I will start to use 100% natural sand. Next for quantity, of course, aggregate down to finding the volume of fine aggregates. For the sake of this presentation, please check out my previous videos in this channel. For detailed formula, you can refer to the standard which is self-explanatory. Now pay attention as I will show you how I adjust the volume of coarse aggregate. According to Table 5.3.6, we need 0.66 volume of coarse aggregate. But if we follow that, the result combined grading is not suitable for SCC. The combined grading line is outside the limit. So to fix that, I will have to reduce the volume of coarse aggregates to have more mortar fractions as suggested by ACI to 37R. And it makes sense, simply because we are designing self-compacting concrete. That means I need more fines and more mortar. I need more volume of fine aggregates. And so we have to reduce the volume of coarse aggregates. So from 0 0.66, I will reduce to, let's say 0.47. Notice how below assessment changes to satisfactory as a result. And then I'll also review the aggregates combination. Here, I will try to use 20% of manufactured sand and 80% of natural sand. I think I have to use to sizes of fine aggregates here. So this calculated line started to move inside the limits. Look closely. We are about to conform to all the parameters and SCC grading chart. Moving on forward, for coarse aggregate we need to adjust as well. Let us say 30% of 19 mm and 70% of 9.5 mm combination for coarse aggregates. And, a little bit more of adjustments. Let's try 23% and 77%. Finally. That will be perfect. So now, all the parameters are satisfactory. This is the simple strategy to create cell compacting concrete. As you can see now it is ready for a trial mix. Combined grading chart is almost in the limits. We cannot always expect to have 100% to fit into the limits of this chart. Consider this as a guide only, unless specified. The result will always depends on our aggregate's physical properties. So in this example, these are the available aggregates that I have, so I have to utilize them and optimize the proportion to conform to SCC parameters. So let's have a look at the other combined grading charts. Like 0.45 power chart. So this is very fine because we are designing self-consolidating concrete. Let's see the coarseness factor and workability factor. The values are higher than the boundary, so you won't be able to see from this chart. It's because the workability factor is high at 60 for point to value. Whereas on this chart, the upper limit was at 50 workability factor. So it's more than and exceeding this chart's upper limit. Therefore you won't be able to see them. The intersecting values of workability factor and coarseness factor. Remember that red point, that's supposed to appear inside this box. So next let's look at the tarantula curve. You can see that part of the combined calculated line is beyond the limit of 22% of percent retained.
Let's try another one, the pumpability chart. So since this is self-compacting concrete, it makes sense that it should be higher than the coarse and is higher than the red line. That would suggest that the mixture is very pumpable. So this is the target line for pumpability. We should be above this red line. And since this is self-consolidating concrete, with a very high amount of cementitious content at 500 kg. So therefore this is very pumpable, as you can see from this chart. Let's go back again to SCC Combined Aggregates Grading Chart. Take note to use this chart when you are using 19 mm nominal maximum size of aggregate only. Check this out, the FIME aggregates combined grading is within the limit. For coarse segregate, it's beyond the limit, but let us ignore it. We need to do a self-consolidating concrete. It's not a normal concrete, so we can ignore this. Just for the sake of this presentation. Since this is special concrete, not the normal concrete. You can also look at this combined aggregates chart. Combined grading without any limits, but look closely at this line. Surprisingly, this is the result of the adjustment we did earlier, nearly a smooth and straight line. And it also reflects to the SCC chart. It reflects on this, where we tried our best to fit within lower limit and upper limit. And this is your 30% fly ash, which is 150 kg by the way. So you can use mid-range PCE. If you feel that you need to prolong the workability, you can add 1 kg of retarder. Normally, this is what I'm doing. You can also consider using viscosity modifying agent. But in this example, I'm just using a normal mid range PCE and retarder. So that's it for today, dear viewers, and thank you for watching. Please share this video and subscribe to my channel for more similar content.